What drives us, really, to do all that we do? Is it the quest for power, the pursuit of pleasure, or could it be the fear of our inevitable demise? Human behavior, as complex as it may seem, often boils down to three core motivations. Power, sexual gratification, and the desire for security from death. Each of these motivations is deeply rooted in our instinct for survival. Firstly, power. It's not always about ruling the world or being the CEO of a multinational corporation. Power, in its rawest form, is about control. It's about having the ability to influence our circumstances and steer our fate. This primal need for power is a survival instinct, tracing back to our earliest ancestors, who needed to dominate their environment to stay alive. Next, we have sexual gratification. Now this isn't just about the physical act, but rather the complex interplay of emotions, relationships and, yes, reproduction. The drive for sexual gratification is a biological imperative, ensuring the continuation of our species. Lastly, but by no means least, is our desire for security from death. It's the existential dread that haunts every waking moment. The fear of death is the ultimate survival instinct, pushing us to avoid danger, to seek safety, and to cling on to life. Understanding these motivations through the lens of psychoanalysis not only provides insight into our actions, but also helps us navigate the complexities of human behavior. Psychoanalysis isn't just a theory, it's a tool, a roadmap to the human mind. But what if we could address that third motivation, the fear of death, in a tangible, innovative way? Imagine a future where death is not a full stop, but merely a pause. Cryonic burial, a method of preserving the body in a state of suspended animation, offers that possibility. Picture a serene ice cemetery, a final resting place that's not quite final. It's a hopeful vision, a promise of a potential medical resurrection in the future. It's a bold idea, yes, but isn't it worth considering? If we work hard and live good lives, shouldn't we be offered a chance at a future even after death? In conclusion, understanding the motivations of human actions, appreciating the importance of psychoanalysis, and considering innovative solutions like cryonic burial, gives us a new perspective on life, and perhaps on death as well. It's food for thought, a challenge to the status quo, a glimpse into a future where death might not be the end, but a new beginning.